affordable eye tutorial using a couple of fairly new drugstore products. Um, this is actually really similar to the look I had on in my video where I was doing the three-in-one review on new Revlon products. Um, it's using the Revlon Color Stay Smoky Shadow Stick and one of the new quads from CoverGirl. What's funny is that neither of these products I really think are absolutely amazing on their own, but they work really well together. Um, the Shadow Stick needs the bit of powder on top for staying power and the powder can use uh, the cream product to add some intensity. It really comes together nicely for a nice teal look. I think it's dramatic enough for like a night out but I still think you can you know go about your day-to-day -day business with it on too so and every single thing on my face is actually drugstore. I'll mention all those products down below in the extra info box and I'll mention a few key things at the end um, but for now here's the eyes. I just applied my e.l.f. $1 eye primer just to give my uh, shadow a little bit of a base and I'm gonna have a color base as well. It's the Revlon Color Stay Smoky Shadow Stick. Um, this shade is called uh, Smolder and one end is kind of a deep teal and the other is sort of a light silvery blue. So I'm gonna use the lighter side first and I'm just going to basically draw this all over my lid. I'm also gonna bring it around the inner corner. I'm just putting a little bit of the darker color on the outer part of my lid and then I'm taking it a little bit under the outer part of my lower lash line. Next I'm going to my CoverGirl Quad in Sugar Coated. This is one of their, it, it's in the new displays, it's kind of a different packaging from um, the older quads and I'm going to go to this uh, teal color here and just use the sponge tipped applicator. I like the tapered end and you're just gonna pat right over what you just did there with the shadow stick. I'm taking it not only on my lid, but also up through the crease a little bit. I'm also taking this right around the tear duct and it's gonna cling to um, the uh, shadow stick we put there as well. Then you can just uh, flip over your sponge tip and use this darker color. This has sort of a nice dark teal that's almost exactly like um, the dark teal in the shadow stick. Just get a nice little contrast of color there on the outer part and you can kind of pull that up as well. Then I'm just using this brush from Coastal Scents with that darker shade. Um, using a brush in the crease tends to just help it diffuse a little bit more easily but just take that kind of back and forth in the crease. We're not looking to go too deep and dark because we are going to have kind of a dramatic lash as you can see but you know just a little bit. Then there is kind of a plummy brown color here so I'm going to lightly um, pat into that with that same brush. I'm just going to kind of warm it up even though it's still a dark shade it just kind of warms up um, all these blues we've got going on. So just go along the border and then there is a peachy kind of shade here with a little bit of a metallic tone so get a little bit of that and we're going to take that uh, right under the brow. Not a lot, it just gives a nice little shine to that area. Next I'm using my Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black. This is just a really nice rich black liquid liner with a very uh, fine tip. It's a little brush tip. And I'm going to take that from the innermost corner all the way across to the outer. Sometimes I, draw, I find I draw a little bit above my lash line, almost like an outline of what I'm going to do, and then you can really get in there and get close, close to the lashes. And I'm going to widen my line just a little bit toward the outside, but not doing any big wing with this look. Then I'm going to take uh, my Maybelline Master Drama Liner in Midnight Master. It's black. See how we're kind of connecting to the liquid? And then just getting it like, kind of right between the lashes on the lower lash line. This is my favorite part, I'm not sure why. It's just, I, I think I like this itty bitty brush. I'm using my Real Techniques um, little accent brush. You can just put the shadow exactly where you want it. You're not gonna mess it up, you know? Um, so I'm gonna take the darkest teal color with that little brush. And that's gonna top off our pencil liner here. And we're actually gonna just carry that all the way in. Going uh, now into this shade, the bright, kind of turquoise teal and then going kind of underneath 
what we just did, just a little bit kind of overlapping kind of underneath and it, it just brightens it up a bit. Curl the lashes. Then I'm going to use my CoverGirl Lash Blast and even though this is the um, white tube for the Olympics it's still regular Lash Blast um, and I'm going to apply a coat of that to the top lashes and a very careful coat to the bottom lashes as well. The lashes I'm using are from Ardell and they are the Demi Wispies and um, they really make your lashes look nice and full and they're a little bit longer on the outside so it's going to give you a little bit of an upswept, upturned look even without doing anything fancy to your eyeliner. So um, I'm using this Kiss Premium Lash Glue. It's a gl nice glue with a little wand so just put that uh, along the lash band. And after you let that get just a little bit tacky um, I like to put my fingers in the middle of the lash band and then kind of center that with the middle of my eye place it on there and then just press the lash on really close to your lash line both on the outer and the inner corner and then just kind of make sure the whole band is down. And then kind of bump it up so the lashes are kind of resting in a nice upturned way. And then just to make sure everything's really nice and bonded there, I do a very light coat, sort of, if you want to call it that, of mascara. So guys, a very simple take on a teal eye look. I got a lot of requests for this after that um, Revlon review where I was wearing this sort of a look. So um, thanks for asking for it. Um, on my cheeks, just a few key things here. I'm using the $1 e.l.f blush in flushed so that's what's giving me that almost a little bit of a berry pink look to the to the cheeks. And then I wanted to keep the lips pretty simple there. You can see they're not super colorful, but they do have some shine. So I'm using the Neutrogena Revitalizing Lip Balm in Petal Glow. So um, this is just sort of, you know, your lips, but kind of amped up a little bit, a little more shimmery. So I like that a lot. I like the way it feels on too. So um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video.